calling. Fired up to start the game, get everyone in it. Instead, you're on your heels. You've taken a two-minute minor. The Swamp Rabbits will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Puts it on net, and that's blocked. And he takes the feed. Makes a save. And they send it down the ice. The Swamp Rabbits will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Puts it on net. Oh, what a denial by Cormier. They get it out of the defensive end. The Swamp Rabbits play it along the blue line. And that doesn't reach the net. The Everblades will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Florida's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking scenes. They gotta be better. Ready perfectly and breaks up the play. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Carpenter stopped the puck along the wing. Good defensive stop with the poke check. free up the puck. Florida's in now. Moves it to Riley. The Swamp Rats gain possession in their own end. Coyle's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Moves it around along the half wall. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's the slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Cormier's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop a team effectively. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, and a nice job getting the puck out of the zone. Uh, first you gotta get it, so the PK unit does a great job reading where that puck is going to be able to retrieve it. Then you gotta get it down the ice, recognizing the glass is the best option. Perfectly executed. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Trying to clear. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Feeds the puck over. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Cormier. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. And loses possession after a solid hit. The Swamp Rabbits fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Coach won't be happy with that, James. Didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion and make adjustments based on what they're doing. And this power play unit didn't do any of it. Comes up with a monster save in front. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Quick feed to Freeman. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stops the rocket of a shot. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Scrum along the wall. Takes control of the puck. 
There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Pendenza has got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a short pass to Pendenza. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. More than half the period has expired. Still looking for our first goal. Pendenz has won the draw and they're on the attack. Snapper from the slot. Quick pass across to Such. The Swamp Rabbits are on the attack. The Everblades gain control of the puck. Moberg's got it in the defensive end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, Quick pass to Such. Scores! You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Swamp Rabbits jump out to a 1-0 lead here, and they have been the better team, I'd say, through the better part of this first period here, Cheryl. Yeah, they really have, and I feel like they've settled into the game nicely, James, and they've had good possession time, and they get rewarded there by capitalizing on the opportunity, but I really feel that these next few shifts are really important. You're the backup of the first period. You just scored. you got to find a way to continue to push. Now a quick pass to Lewis. Greenville's looking to break out. Pass right back. Lewis looks around. And that's blocked in traffic. Rocks him on the play. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Bednard's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Scores! Two goals and right around a minute 40. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Man, talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Well, good defense leads to offense, James, as they bend, but they do not break in their own coverage, and they're able to get the quick counter attack, speed through the neutral zone, and they're rewarded for their efforts in the offensive zone with a goal. The Swamp Rabbits look to be on a mission tonight, already up by two here, and we're still only in the first. Well, the mission is possible because they've been dominant out there tonight, James. They've been relentless. They competed for pucks, loose pucks at will. I mean, they've outbattled their opponent, and now they're sitting with a two-goal cushion. Greenville's on the attack. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Time penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. Oh, this home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Greenville's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. And he can't hang on after that hit. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. 
The Swamp Rabbits are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Florida's got a four-on-three here with plenty of time to work with. Gotta love the four-on-three when you have some time. You can be patient, you can work switches, and you can bet they've worked on these lineups in practice, but they're gonna have to find a way to attack. You don't want to blow yourself to sleep on the perimeter. What an attack! feel this one coming, couldn't you, James? I mean, they're on the power play, and what an effective one it was. I mean, they are pressuring all over the ice. Even when they lose it, they are first on retrieval, just hounding it, and they wore the PK unit down. They look for their moment, and they converted. Everly's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Florida's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Jostling. Gaining momentum up along the side. Florida's got it from behind the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Kent stick handling in his own zone. And that sends a few people scrambling for cover on the bench. Everly's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Greenville's won the defensive zone draw. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Well, consider that one a blown opportunity as the man advantage expires, still down by a goal. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play now, down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflated. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Late goings of this period. The Everblades have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Grabs the puck. Sends a pass over. Kent's going to play it against the half wall. Moves it to Russell. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. to the middle, and that's intercepted. Gains the zone along the right wall. Here's a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. 12 seconds on the clock. And that pass is redirected. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed in Bitterbond at the display near the guest services counter. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Everblades are fortunate that this game is close, James. I mean, they've had way too many turnovers and terrible blue line decisions. They need to shore that up if they want to get back in this game. Puts it on goal. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. There's another stop. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Greenville's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Everblades come up with the defensive zone draw. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Tremendous close save by Fittner. Center 
Players are set, face off, ready to resume play. Off the draw, they take possession. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. The Swamp Rabbits will play it in their own end. Greenville's ready to go on the attack. And that carries off a body in the lane. And it's kicked away. And that's taken away. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Greenville's got him along the wall. Let's go! Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Swamp Rabbits extend the lead to two here in period number two. Well, and I've liked their complete game tonight, James, all the way from their goaltending right to their defense and then into their offense. They've generated, they've created, they've played sound defensively, and now they've got that two-goal lead. Puck grab by Jostling. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Martin's got the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. The Everblades have it against the wall. Great use of the stick at center by Martin. Greenville's gained the line and into the zone. Sits it in front, and that goes off a stick and off target. Gains the zone from the right side. Great heads up play with the stick by Martin. Oh, what a save in front. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Stales. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Wide of the net. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Swamp Rabbits now lead by two. Florida's won the draw, they'll go to work. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Who's the puck? Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Darcy's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And the goaltender gets to the bench. They've got the extra attacker out. Let's see what the officials say. The Swamp Rabbits are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Surprised to see the 1 3 1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Here's a change. at the face off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Greenville's got it in the defensive zone. Nice job to escape the zone. Angles it over to Carpenter. Here's a shot. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Bednard's going to hang on for a whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. The Swamp Rabbits have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. 
The Swamp Rabbits have possession shorthanded. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Carpenter's got it in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Pendenza. Answered the call on that play. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Greenville's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Oh, how did he get him? Globe on that. What a stop by Bednard. The Everblades have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. The Swamp Rapids start with the puck in their own end. Coyle's moving the puck through his own zone. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Swamp Rabbits are up 3-1. The Everblades win the draw here in their own end. Feeds the puck to Jostling. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Shot! Lewis grabs the puck inside his own territory. And now it's grabbed by Greenway. Gets the puck in deep. The Everblades gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the pass with possession along the wall. Shot! Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Good use of the body on the play. The Everblades cross the blue line and are on the attack. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, a quick look. Put it on the post! starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want. When the game is close, you have to find a way to get it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Everblades have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Darcy's won it. Strong defensive effort. Florida's got it in their own zone. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Quick pass to Stales. Oh, a stop by Bittner. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Russell's got it across the line. Florida's got the puck along the boards. The Everblades take it along the wall. It's a to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Handles the pass. The Swamp Rabbits take it along the wall. Scores! It's in the back of the net. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Greenville's been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. That goes by. Greenville's got a hold of the puck now. Gives him a choke with that hit. Grabbed along the board by Tick. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. The Swamp Rabbits will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Kemp. And that's picked off. Puck's 
to the point. Big save. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Steps across the blue line. fighting for that puck instead of coming on under, under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you hack you're gonna get the call slashing it is Greenville's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work earlier today the guys were talking about the cross crease one-timer the coverage is sliding over to one side of the ice it's opening it up all day long trying to clear the puck from his own end the late penalty looming. Whistle stops the play. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Greenville's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Gets it out of his own end. Battle along the wall. Martin's lugging the puck. Here's a chance in front, and that doesn't connect. Blocked in front. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Second frame, almost done. Well inside a minute now. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Let's it go! And a great save and a beauty on the play. Penalty coming up here. Well, he takes another penalty, and now his team is compromised yet again. I expect he won't see the ice much more, James. Another chance here on the man advantage. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Can't connect as it goes on the stick. The Swamp Rabbits run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Denies them in close. There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Fans, your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes live from our tickets for kids' luxury box. Thank you for your generosity. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Sheriff, how do you view it? The Swamp Rabbits are ahead in this game in the third period, James, but the question is for how long? I mean, the transition and the counterattack happen so fast. Goaltenders are left hung out to dry. This game is all about offense. Pendenza's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Greenville's won the face-off deep in their own end. And he takes the dish. Trying to clear. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Souch is up and ready to get back on the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Moberg. The Everblades carry it along the wall. Let's one go, and that carries off a body in traffic. The Swamp Rabbits move the puck in the defensive zone. Play blown dead, let's get the call. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. 
They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. There's a rock and a shot. And a solid save on the play there. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Takes the pass. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves it to Sutton. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play, and as a result, they score. Slump Rabbits continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating... Well, oh, there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, a clutch save! Florida's got into the offensive zone. And that's off a stick. Two on one, here we go! And instead of forcing the issue, they dump it in. And some good footwork to kick it away. Scooped up along the wall by Jostling. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Swamp Rabbits gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Great pressure with the stick. Here's a pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. is swooping in on the attack. Moves the puck down low. Takes it to the front. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. The Everblades enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Taken along the wall by Carpenter. Pucks it away in his own end. Quick feed to Carpenter. Denies him with the pass. Bednard's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Greenville's got a 5-2 lead. And they win the draw on their own end. And that's knocked away. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And that's a great hits up play by Sambra. Fires it on net. Stones up with the blocker. And the puck's kicked free. And it's a quick pass to Moberg. Way too much congestion blocks that. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Here's a short pass to Everly. Receives the pass. Florida's got the puck against the boards. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Greenville's got it across the line. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Great reach with the stick by Such. And he slides it quickly to Moberg. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Gaining 
speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Greenville's got control of it now. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Well, Rabbits are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. And they continue to apply pressure here. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. People were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carlin Bain standing by with her answer. Martin's been active in this game, and even though he has no points, I still think he's been more engaged. I'm giving him the edge tonight, guys. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Greenway. Takes a shot. Oh, and a stiff save. The Everblades have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Greenville's got a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Greenville's got the win off that draw. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Oh, dumped right over the boards! Well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out of touch to your side. Continue to trail here late in this third period despite several scoring chances tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Darcy's taking it from his own end. The Everblades play it along the boards. The Swamp Rabbits are in transition. Moves it quickly over to Freeman. Great reach with the poke check. And he's got the answer for that one. 
Freeman's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Darcy's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Trying to shoot the defender. All alone. Get loose of the breakaway. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Centering feed. Oh, it comes up with a stop. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. got possession here in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Fires it! Just gets enough to keep it out! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Great defensive effort with the strip. The Everblades have it from their own end. Mercy to Jostling. Quick shot, and that goes off a player. Let's it fly. Here's a blast. Oh, great glove save by Bittner. Florida's time is running out in this one to try to even things up. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but no finish tonight. The Everblades take possession off the faceoff. Bednard's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Everblades win that offensive zone faceoff. Came up with a nice save. Through center along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Slick feed. It is all over. And with the victory, the series lead now shifts to a 2-1 advantage on their side. I really like the response in their game to break the tie in this series and get ahead 2-1, James. It's all about habits, finding ways to apply pressure to your opponent. And now with that lead, you have applied pressure. So if you can get the next win, man, game four is going to be interesting. That'll do it from rinkside here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey, it's simply the best. And we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.